Established in 1997, the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife's Warm Water Program is tasked with monitoring warm water game fish throughout the state of Washington. To monitor fish populations, we conduct standardized fishery surveys on lakes using three primary gear types. First, we use fike nets, which we set in the evening, and they consist of a 100-foot lead net and two 50-foot wing nets that direct swimming fish into a series of funnels where they become trapped till we remove the net the following morning. Second, we use gill nets, which again are set in the evening, pulled the following morning, and consist of monofilament netting that entangles the fish overnight. We use gill nets with four different mesh sizes, half, three-quarter, one, and two inch, which entangle different sizes of fish, allowing us to capture a broad size range of individuals. Lastly, we conduct boat electrofishing which involves idling along the shoreline at three miles per hour while emitting low frequency electrical pulses that travel from the booms you see hanging off the front of the boat to wires that dangle off the front of the hull. The electrical current we create at the front of the boat only temporarily stuns the fish, allowing us to scoop them up and place them safely in a live well to recover. Nighttime is the best time to electrofish because fish of different sizes will congregate along the shoreline at night and we can also see more fish in the water at night with the lighting array we have mounted off the front of the boat. More recently, we have explored the efficacy of sampling our catfish populations with baited hoop nets and also baited set lines. Although most of our lakes have naturally reproducing populations of brown bullhead catfish, we are very interested in our channel catfish, which are periodically stocked by the Department of Fish and Wildlife to create these fisheries in lakes where these fish are not able to spawn. Once the fish are on board, we measure each fish to the nearest millimeter and weigh each one to the nearest gram. For certain species of interest, we remove 5 to 10 scales from behind the pectoral fin to determine the various ages of fish in our sample. Age data can be particularly useful when paired with length and weight data because it allows us to determine how fast the fish are growing. All this data is then analyzed and evaluated to better understand the relative abundance of different species and to characterize the quality of the game fish fishery, like largemouth bass, and ultimately offer guidance to resource managers grappling with the decisions that may impact the fishery for many years to come. Just recently, during June 12th through the 16th, 2017, we conducted a warm water fishery survey of Sprague Lake in Adams County to inform and guide future management decisions. We put together this short highlight video of the survey to, one, show you some of the work that the Warm Water Program does in Washington, and two, show you some of the diversity and the quality of fish we encountered at Sprague Lake. Bluegill, 104, 27. 